Tommy Scott. Welcome to Current Land. We're on location again this week at Intune Music. Actually, I'll tell you what's going on. We, we've moved studios. We've gone from Current Land Studios to our new studio, Action Studios, and we're still building um, the Current Land set. It hadn't been put up yet. So that's cool with me. That gives us a chance to go out in the community, go to places like this, like last week where we were at the Iguana. Yo, had a good time. Thank you, Christina, for uh, having me and putting up with me. Appreciate it. On tonight's show, we have David Castro uh, that we filmed here a few weeks ago, and that's going to be up there. It's cool, a little interview and a little song along. Also, we've got National Entertainment News Video of the Week and all that jazz. So, what do you think? Let's just go ahead. What do you think? Let's, you want to start it? Yo! Okay. It's good little National Entertainment, Entertainment News. News! Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I'm sure most of you already know this, um, but I'm going to do it anyway because, you know, as you know or don't know, we film this show a week in advance. Just how it is. Patrick Swayze has passed away from cancer. Uh, I was really surprised. I thought he was going to make it. Uh, earlier this month, doctors informed him that his cancer had spread to the liver and that there wasn't anything they could do for him. Uh, sad thing, too. Uh, he was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer, I believe, last year and, um, you know, succumb to, uh, to that ailment. I remember when Dirty Dancing came out in, in the late 80s, and I remember every housewife in town was swooning for Pat Swayze. Uh, you know, he could dance, folks, he could sing, and, uh, you know, there was a song that he did in the 80s that goes, She's like the wind. That was Patrick Swayze. If you don't believe me, check it out. Okay. Uh, Kanye West is at it again. Sure, you already know about this, but hey, I don't, I don't care. I'm going to do it anyway. Taylor Swift was accepting an award, and Kanye came out of nowhere, grabbed a microphone, and uh, started talking about Beyonce, essentially, basically insulting Taylor Swift. Not cool. You know, this is not the only time that uh, Kanye's just gone off like that. Uh, a few years ago when Hurricane Katrina hit and then they did the big fundraiser thing and all of that, he was standing alongside uh, Mike Myers and said, George W. Bush doesn't care about black people. Now if you believe that or don't believe it, I don't, I don't know, but he did say it and I remember the expression on Mike Myers' face was like, <laughs> okay. So there you go. Okay, let's see if Tom is ready to rock and roll and uh, inform us about some upcoming local events. Tommy boy! Okay, there's, there's just nobody there now. <laughs> Last week it was Bridget. The week before, Joe Mack was stealing some office supplies. Okay, we'll, uh, we'll check in on Tom uh, here in a second. See if he's ready to go. Okay, uh, we'll be right back, folks. Don't go anywhere. Of course, like I said, coming up a little bit later in the show, David Castro, live! Well, not live, but we recorded him here at Intune Music. So don't go nowhere!